Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna do a reg uh, we're gonna do regular boat maintenance. Uh, in the boat maintenance, we're gonna change the inline fuel filter. Uh, I am changing the entire filter because it costs like fifteen dollars and some cents. Uh, but you can also change as a cartridge, and the three of those cartridges cost about uh, I think also fifty. They also cost like fifteen dollars. I'll add the link for the filter and for the cartridges in the description. Now here's the thing, if um, your old cartridge, if there's no uh, breakage in the screen and looks good, all you can do is to take the carburetor cleaner or the brake fluid cleaner and you can clean that cartridge and install it back. So there's no need to buy a new one. If you can clean that, you can use that and install with the same inline fuel filter. Anyhow, this is a cheap replacement, $15, so I did that. Second thing I'm gonna do is to do the seafoam treatment. And I prefer the method where I inject the seafoam directly into the carburetor and it burns it off and it cleans it and the, it carbons out. So I prefer that method, so I'm gonna do that. And once I do the fuel, I mean the seafoam treatment, after that I wanna open up my spark plugs and of course there's gonna be some stuff in there. So we're gonna clean up the spark plugs, sand them and regap them. Understand whenever you sand your uh, spark plugs or they've been used for some time, the, the gap increases, so you have to regap them. So make sure you regap them. Uh, the gap for 2002 Mercury fuel injection or carburetor is 0 0.040, so make sure of that. And I was thinking to change the inline, uh, I was thinking to change the fuel and water separator, but last year I did install a fuel and water separator with a reservoir, and there were no water contaminants, so I'm not gonna change that. But starting next year, before the season starts, I'm gonna change that, and I'll look into changing the spark plugs as well. So let's go ahead and start the work. So here we have the boat, the shade. All right, fellas, here we are. We're gonna do the sea foam testing here. And for that, we have to open up the carburetor cover. I am here in the middle of nowhere two empty buildings and I'm gonna do the test from here. I personally like the spray one better than the gas one. I don't know why, but I do like it. Performance is much better with that. And there's gonna be a lot of noise, I'm sure. So, bear with me.
All right, fellas, as you can see, this is how I did it. Now it's clean. I'm going to put the cover back on. And... You see, the engine sounds really good now. And if I need to clean or change the spark plugs, I'm going to do that as well. So let's put the cover back now. Alright guys, I'm here for the final step. Um, if you remember, I changed the inline filter and then I went and used the sea foam in the carburetor. And the third step was to remove the fuel and water separator filter. But I'm not gonna do that. That it's looks too good. Open the, up the spark plugs and clean them because when you use the sea foam, uh, a lot of stuff comes out. So I just wanna make sure the spark plugs are clean. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the sandpaper, I'm gonna clean them up, and then I'm gonna make sure I have the right gap. You know, it's, it's kind of hot over here today. Um, the, it's, and the reason I'm doing this another day because it's been raining so much here in Baltimore that every hour, every two hours there's rain and you cannot do the work. So I have to wait the next day to do the spark plug thing. So today I'm gonna to do the spark plugs. I have done the spark plugs video in the past where I did complete video on how to clean, but today I'm not gonna to go too much in detail about that. It's just opening them up, cleaning, and putting them back in, and that's how we're gonna do it, all right? So when opening up the spark plugs, you gotta make sure you grab them from the adapter. And that's the safest thing to do. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too much into the details. I have done this video. So these are the spark plugs. And I'm gonna clean them up and bring them back. All right, so I got my spark plug gap properly. said i want to end this video i thank you everybody who come to my channel thank you thank you all for your support and make the small channel grow take care bye bye